Now, today I want to talk about the places in Italy where you can get the highest rental yields. Now, none of these places are in big cities like Rome, Milan, Naples or Turin, but they are in quite nice places around Italy. And as I say, the yields are very, very, very high. So coming in at number five, and this is in West, it's a city in West Sicily with a gross yield of 9%, and it is Trapani. So Trapani is a reasonably sized city. It has around 67,000 people, and it's known for having a very nice old town and lovely ancient churches. And it's not too far away from Marsala, which you all know, Marsala wine is famous worldwide. And Trapani, if you want to get to the airport, it's only 15 kilometers away from the center of Trapani. Although the airport is not particularly big, it does fly to major European destinations like London, Amsterdam, Brussels, and also to Malta and Warsaw and Katowice in Poland. So there are quite a few destinations that it does fly to. And prices are very low as well. So you're looking at an average of around 900 euros per square meter. And this is a drop from around 1,200 euros per square meter in October 2013. What I also like about Trapani is that there are beaches nearby as well, so it's good for visiting monuments, churches, and for going to the beach as well. So definitely a good candidate. Now coming in at number four, and also this is another a place in Sicily, and a very nice place in Sicily as well, where um, the Montalbano um, was sh shot here as well, um, if you follow the series. And that's the city of Ragusa, and the gross yield here is 9.7%, so also very, very high. Now prices here are slightly higher than Trapani, so you're looking on average at around 960 euros per square meter. But what's quite interesting, I find, is that prices have dropped a lot. So in March 2014, the average price of a property in Ragusa was 1,478 euros per square meter, but as I say, it's dropped to only 960 euros per square meter. Now, Ragusa um, is in the southeast of Sicily. It has a population of 75,000 people. Uh, two railway stations, again a lovely old town and numerous churches and beaches are nearby as well. So I think the only thing I would say that is not in Ragusa's favour is that the nearest major airport is Catania which is around 100 kilometres away. So this is possibly not um, in its favour. However, that said, Ragusa is definitely a beautiful place. I highly recommend you to visit Ragusa as well if you don't decide to buy. But coming in at number three is our first one, which has um, average gross rental yields of over 10%. And this now we're going to the north of Italy. So this um, place in the north of Italy um, is actually a place called Biella. Now I've covered Biella in another video for the cheapest places to buy real estate in the north of Italy and it is extremely cheap. So let's look at the gross rental yields, incredible at 10.6%. Um, Biella is in Piemonte with a population of 45,000. It is a wool processing place and a textile center and also the brand Zegna and Cerruti were born here, so it does have a lot of advantages. And property prices here are incredibly cheap, considering it's the north of Italy. So you're looking at around 700 euros per square meter. That is incredibly cheap. So um, here I would recommend to buy out of the five. So this is my first recommendation out of the five, where I think you could buy property and rent it out at um, fantastic yields. And it's a lovely place in its own right. You've got a cathedral, baptistry, and lovely churches as well. The only disadvantage I would say about Biel is that it's a um, long way from an airport. So it is around uh, 80 kilometers from both the major cities of Milan and Turin. So 
um, let's say by train to Turin, it's about an hour and 20 minutes. So it is a fair distance from an airport. But as I say, it's in the north of Italy. Wages are good here. So you're, it's likely that your tenants will be able to pay the rent. And, and for this, um, I'm giving Biela um, as one of my places here in the top five where I would perhaps want to invest. Now, coming in at number two um, in Puglia is the city of Taranto with um, gross yields of 11.6%, which is pretty amazing. Now, Taranto is quite a big city. The population is around 200,000 people and it is obviously in the um, beautiful region of Puglia and advantages that Taranto has is that um, it has a beautiful castle, cathedral, churches, museums and there are beaches nearby as well and prices are incredibly cheap so you are looking at around 950 euros per square meter and again this is a big drop from September 2013, where prices were 1,340 euros per square meter. But I wouldn't recommend to buy here. And even though, there, as I said, there are beaches nearby too. Um, two reasons. The nearest airport, Brindisi, is 75 kilometers away. Although there is another airport as well, a major airport in Italy, Bari, which is, which is 100 kilometers away. But the main reason is because of the steelworks and the company Ilva uh, here, which is a major steelwork company in the south of Italy. Now, the problem is it has caused a lot of pollution. And if this were to ever close down, Taranto would go into quite a decline. But if you read numerous articles, there have been um, fatalities here because of the steelworks and the pollution that it has given to the city. So I personally would not choose Taranto. So where is, what's the number one city? Well, it is, as you can see in front of you, the beautiful city of Siracusa. And this is my second recommendation out of the five. I've chosen Biella, but Siracusa as well, I would choose. Now, prices here are also very, very low at around 1,120 euros per square meter. And they have dropped from 1,365 euros per square meter in September 2013. Now, the nearest airport is Catania, which is about an hour's drive away, or alternatively, it's about a 60 to 90 minute um, ride by train. The population is quite big, so you are looking at about 120,000 people. But I think most of all, Siracusa is really an amazing place. So you have one of the largest ancient Greek theatres in the world. You also have an amazing cathedral, temples, a Roman amphitheatre, a castle, numerous beautiful churches and a very famous archaeological museum as well. Add on to that that there are beaches nearby. And I think you do really have a winner here in Syracuse. I think out of the five places, for me, it is the most beautiful place. Um, and I think what you could do here, you could actually buy here for retirement and then buy another home um, to potentially rent out. Although, as I've said before, renting out in Italy isn't great because Italy, unfortunately, is a very, very, very pro-tenant country. So you're going to have to be careful when you do rent out. And remember, you are renting out in Siracusa. And I don't think renting out in Siracusa will be quite as watertight as renting out in Biella, which has a very, very good, as I said, wool processing center and textile industry. But nevertheless, you know, with these yields, um, these yields are fantastic yields. Um, this is the highest yield in Italy. Anyway, um, I'd like to thank kind of Idealista again um, for helping me do the research on this. They don't sponsor me, but I use their website quite a lot. I'll link the article down below. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you ever so much for watching this video, and I'll see you very soon on the next one.